The Enigma Radio Theater presents. Welcome. Come in. I'm Dana Jones. I invite you to join your imagination with tonight's macabre tale. Our mystery drama, The Cabin in the Woods, was written especially for the Enigma Radio Theater by myself, Dana Jones, and stars Dominic Flores, Aaron Maxick, Emily Bell, as well as myself. We begin with Act One. How much further, Dad? It shouldn't be much longer, Sammy. Dad, I really have to pee. I know, Scotty. Just hold on for a few more minutes. Honey, are you sure we were supposed to turn left? My phone said it was the road on the right. Trust me. I I know where I'm going. It's the top of this hill. Why are we spending Christmas out in the middle of nowhere? Again. Because I want us, as a family, to spend some real quality time together. You guys are always on your phones or watching TV, so I just want us to get away together and experience Christmas like I did as a kid. Dad, I think you're looking at your childhood through rose-colored glasses here. Ah, just you wait till morning and see how beautiful it is up here. You're gonna love it. I promise. We should go on a hike in the morning to the lake. Hiking? I thought we were coming here to relax. Hey, I just lost service on my phone. The cabin has internet, right, Dad? (sighs) You know, kids, one day you're going to thank me for bringing you guys up here. Dad, you're evading my question. No, there's no internet, but we have a generator for electricity. Fresh mountain water and all the fresh air your heart desires. Dad! This sucks. How am I supposed to talk to my boyfriend? I did say I told you so. Yeah, I know, but we've all been living in the city too long. It's time to get some perspective. Learn to appreciate the things we have so easily at home. Appreciate? Dad, it's not 1892. Yeah, well, out here it almost is. (gasps) Hey, I see it. There it is, between the trees. Thank God. I'm about to piss myself. Scotty. What? I am. Honey, grab my flashlight from the glove box. Everyone, take what they can get and get on the porch as quick as you can. Maybe the rain will let up and we can get the luggage later. Dad, I thought you said we would have electricity. We do, we do. I see you go down to the cellar and turn on the generator. Scotty, can you help me with the door? Yeah. Careful, Roger. The steps are probably all rotted. I think it's all right. A lot of cobwebs. Jeez. Hey, Scotty, hold my flashlight so we can start up the generator. What if it doesn't work? It'll work. I think the rain has stopped. Great. Scotty, start getting everything out of the truck. I'll be there in a second. Sure, but I uh, gotta pee first. Oh, right. Sorry. Uh, the bathroom's down the hall on the right. I'll get the food. Ah, oh, honey. I'm so happy we did this. The kids might act like they hate it, but they'll be fine. Just, I don't know, give them a day or two. I hope so. I just want us to be a family again. Once Scotty leaves for college and Sammy moves out of the house, we probably won't be together like this for a long time. You're the sweetest man I have ever known. (laughs) How did I get so lucky? Ha! I'm the one that got lucky. (laughs) Not every girl would be so keen to spend two weeks in the middle of nowhere. You know, if you're not too tired, we could break in the sheets tonight. Oh, yeah. Sounds good to me. (laughs) I just need to get everything from the truck. (laughs) Okay. I'll get all the food in the fridge. How's it going, Scotty? Just a few more bags. Uh, You want me to put the gasoline down in the cellar? No, no, no. Keep that in the truck for now. Jeez, you can really see the stars up here. 
Yeah, check it out. There's the Big Dipper. And right there, North Star. Ooh, what's that one by the moon? Hmm, not sure. Must be a planet. Eh, not sure. But it's like green or something. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> Weird. Y you know, there should be a telescope in my room. We can check it out. Okay, cool. Well, uh, that's the last of the luggage. Ah, oh, great. I'm just gonna lock the truck. Fridge working, honey? Yep. The stove, too. I just need some more matches. Oh, okay. Well, tomorrow I'll go into town, get whatever other supplies we need. Make a list? Uh, Dad, add toilet paper to that list, please. Dad, the TV's not working. Really? That's strange. Power's working? Uh, well, it is old. So, like, what are we supposed to do now? Honey, come on. We got a whole closet full of board games. Anyone want to play dominoes or Monopoly? Look, shoots and ladders even. Oh my god, this vacation is going to suck. Hey, come on. Listen to me. It's not that bad. Plus, we're not going to be spending a ton of time cooped up in here anyway. I got tons of activities for us to do outside. What if it rains for two weeks? Samantha, it's not going to, okay? Just relax. It's getting late, and you and Scotty still need to get your rooms in order, so let's just all turn in for the night, okay? Uh, all right. Good night. Good night, Mom, Dad. Good night, kids. Love you. Love you. Love you, too. Well, mister, looks like it's time to hit the sack. Me thinks you are right. Ooh! <laughs> Let me carry you to your abode, my lady. Why, thank you, kind sir. <laughs> You think it'll snow? It should. Maybe even a few feet. Back when I was a kid, we got so much snow we couldn't even leave the house. Well, I don't know if I want that much snow. Can't control snow, baby. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Oh. I guess the generator didn't have much gas left in it. I'll go fill it up. Roger? Dad? What happened? Dad, are you all right? I think my leg's broken. Oh, God, I knew these goddamn steps were rotted. Scotty! I knew it. Scotty! There's a ladder in the garage on the side of the house. Get it. Okay. Now! Trace, there's a walking stick by the fireplace. Get that and the duct tape for my toolkit. Okay. Daddy, what can I do? Uh, go to the cabinet in my room. There should be some aspirin. Okay. Dad, I got the ladder. And I have the walking stick and the duct tape. Okay, both of you. Come down here. But, 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 but carefully, carefully. <sighs> All right, it's gonna hurt, but you have to do it. Trish, all right, all right. place a stick against my leg. Okay. Uh, Scotty, uh, I need you to wrap the stick to my leg with the tape. Uh, okay, uh, ready? All right, all right, all right ready. All right. All right, go! Okay, good. Okay, uh, now help me up the ladder. Daddy, I got the aspirin. Thanks, sweetie. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, Here we go. Uh, got it? Yeah. Just one more step. Uh, uh, there. Uh, all right. Here you go, Daddy. Thank you. Okay, Scotty, Samantha, I'm going to take Dad to the doctor in town. I want to go with you. No, just stay here. Where are the keys? Right here. We'll be back in a few hours. Help me get Dad into the car. There, there you go. You all good, Dad? Yeah. yeah. Take care of the house while I'm gone. I, I will. The generator just needs gas. Okay. Okay, we'll be back. Do not let anyone into the house while we're gone, okay? Who's gonna come up here? Just do what I say. Okay, I will. Okay. Bye! Bye! 
Well, this Christmas is off to a great start. It's not working. I don't know what's wrong. You put gas in it, right? Yes, I put gas in it. Ugh, then something must have broken. What are we gonna do? Well, we have the flashlight, and I think I saw some candles in the kitchen, so we can use those. Oh, I hope Mom and Dad come back soon. They will. The town is only half an hour away, and Dad's a champ. Come on, we might as well just go to bed. There's nothing we can do until they get back, which probably won't be until morning. Yeah, okay. Hey, they're back! What? Uh, That's not good. Wait, are you sure it's them? Well, who else is it gonna be? I don't know, but I'm not gonna take any chances. A knife? Well, I don't know where Dad keeps the guns. (gasps) Oh, shit! Mom and Dad went knock? Who the fuck is that? Shh! Maybe I'll go away. (sighs) He knows we're here! Who's there? I'm the caretaker. Can you let me in? Caretaker? I guess Dad had a guy to keep up the house? Hello? Coming. Wait. Mom said not to let anyone in. He's the landlord, not some stranger. You don't know that. I want one too. Just to be safe. Uh, hello. Well, hello there. Uh, sorry to disturb you. Uh, I'm a caretaker here. Name's Henry Kaufman. You must be Scott and Samantha. I I didn't mean to scare you in the middle of the night like this, but I forgot your family was coming up today. I I saw the tire tracks. Your parents not home? They're... they're coming right back. Yeah. All right. Well, I see the power's off. Is there something wrong with the generator? I I can fix it. I know it's a temperamental son of a bitch. Uh, yeah. I couldn't get it to start. I can come back later if you want to wait for your parents. No, that's okay. Uh, come on in. Great, thank you. Well, what happened here? Our dad fell and hurt himself. That's awful. I should have replaced these steps ages ago. Termites must have ate him right through the wood. I hope he's okay. So, you know my dad? Oh yeah, we go way back. Pretty much grew up together. I told him I'd take care of the house. I guess I haven't done such a good job. Do you need help down there? No, I'm all right. It may be about an hour, though, if I can't get her going right away. Okay. Well, let me know if you need anything. Something's weird about him. I don't know. What are you talking about? He's harmless. I don't trust him. Why did he knock if he's the landlord? Wouldn't he have keys? He said he saw the tire tracks. He knew somebody was here. Come on. You're being paranoid for no reason. Wait, where are you going? My room, why? I'm going with you, and I don't want to be alone. And keep that knife with you, just in case. The doctor isn't home. What can we do? Just my luck. Is there another doctor? Not until the next town over, which is a good two hours away. Well, then we'll just have to go there. Wait. Not yet. What? You have to set my leg. What? I I thought we already did. No, the stick is just for support. I need you to shift the bone back into place. Oh, Roger, I, I, I can't. You have to, Trish. I don't know what to do. You see the bump on the right side? Yeah. Okay. That's the side you need to push to the left. You just need to give one hard push. Okay, are you sure? I mean, what if I make it worse? Honey, if you don't do this, then things are going to get a whole lot worse. So please, put your hand there 
and your other hand near my ankle. Okay, uh, like this? Good. Now, on the count of three. Okay, ready? Ready. One. Two. Three. Ah! Oh, I'm so sorry. Did I do it wrong? Are you okay? Roger. No, no you did it right. Thank you. Uh, how we intended to start our vacation. Okay. Yeah, but we still need to drive to the other doctor, right? No, no. We'll come back later in the morning. I'll make a better makeshift cast at the cabin. Are you sure? Aren't you in pain? Look, as long as I don't move and I don't run out of aspirin, honestly, I'll be good until morning. I guess hiking is out of the question now. <laughs> yeah, it's that way. We should head back to the kids. I'm sure they're getting worried. Hey, what is that? Is there someone in that car? Where? Right there, beside the doctor's house. Oh, hey. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, I'm gonna go check it out. What? It could be the doctor. Hello? Sir? Hey! Excuse me! Hey! Wake up! Dr. Burke, is that you? What's wrong? Honey? His... His body just slumped to the side. He he wasn't asleep. I I think he's dead. Do you have any aces? Nope. Go fish. Dang it. Do you have any threes? Yeah. <gasps> hey, it's mom and dad. They're home. That was fast. Hey, what happened? Why don't you have a cast? Unfortunately, we found the doctor, but he was actually dead in his car. We called the police, and we left after we finished questioning. They said they're going to send for the doctor for the next town, so I'm actually going to go back in the morning to get a cast put on. Wait, what? He was dead? What happened? They didn't know yet, sweetie. Oh my god, that's awful. What, what about dad's leg? Are you sure you're going to be okay? Yeah, no, no, no. Actually, I really just need that bottle of aspirin. Oh, sure. I'll get it for you. Couldn't get the generator working? Oh, right. Uh, no, I, I couldn't, but uh, the caretaker is here, and he's fixing it right now. He's down there. What? Yeah, he's been down there for about an hour. Didn't you see his truck outside? Hey... Where's his truck? Everyone, on the porch, now! Honey, what is wrong? Scotty, help me get back to the truck! A, a gun? Roger, what is going on? Honey, we don't have a caretaker. Don't know who's in our house. Stay here. Hello? Hello? I have a gun, I will call the police! Scotty said he was still here, right? Yeah, I heard him working a few minutes ago. Hey! Do you hear me? Walk to the steps with your hands up! Hey! I am not messing around here! Get out of there now! Scott. Help me down the ladder. Grab the flashlight. Got it. Got it? Okay, what is going on? Is he in there? I don't see anyone. I, I don't either. I don't understand. Just wait, 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 wait. Okay, there's no way out of the cellar except up these stairs. You are positive you didn't see him leave? Dad, we were right here on the couch playing cards. There's no way he could have left without us seeing him. He's not there? What do you mean? He has to be. Look, it looks like the generator's been messed with, all right? The fuel line's been cut. I, I don't understand. He was here. Are you sure there's no other doorway down here? I'm positive. Let's head back up. Whoever he was, he's not here now, and we're not staying here either. <laughs> Mom, 
morning, Sheriff. Did you find out what happened to Dr. Burke? Well, so far as we can tell, there's no visible sign of any trauma. No gunshot, no bruising. Could have been a heart attack. I mean, we won't know until we have the autopsy, so... Uh, I don't know how he could have had a heart attack. He was 56 and healthy as can be. Your family staying at the hotel? Yeah, but we're heading back to the city in a few hours. Sorry to see you go so soon. You ever having reports of a man claiming to be a caretaker before? Caretaker? Uh, well, no, not that I can think of. W- w- what do you mean? Someone came to our house last night claiming to be my caretaker, but I didn't hire one. He ended up leaving without a trace, spooked my whole family. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't had any reports like that. Do you want to make a report? No. No, that's okay. I, I think I'm going to sell the house anyway. Hmm. Quite a storm last night. There was a flash flood down in the valley. Yeah, it was a big mess. Wiped out a couple of farms and a cemetery. Hmm. Hope everyone's okay. Uh, have a good day, Sheriff. You too. Hey, Dad. Yeah? We're going to head over to the diner down the road for lunch. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I'm coming. What did the cops say, Dad? Uh, she said they still aren't sure what happened. Maybe a heart attack? Hey, did you guys get the name of that guy last night? Uh, yeah, it was Hen- Henry, Henry something. Um, Hen... It was Henry Kaufman. He said you two grew up together. Henry Kaufman? No, I never knew any Henry Kaufman. Bizarre. And this is really, really bizarre, guys. Oh, come on, let's go eat. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Where's Mom? What is that? Excuse me, are those headstones? Yeah. Flesh flood tore them all out of the ground last night. Oh, wow. I, I didn't know. How sad. Oh. You knew any of them? I actually, I got a, I got a few of them attacked. Uh, I, I got a Susie Flintlock, uh, Gary Brown, Jessica Turner, Henry Kaufman, Cindy Bell. No, no, I, I'm not from here. My husband is. Oh, sorry. Have a good day. Uh, you too. Hey, honey, you coming to eat? Yeah, I'm on my way. I'm starving. Our cast included... Dominique Flores as Roger and the driver, Erin Maxick as Trish and the sheriff, Emily Bell as Samantha, and myself, Dana Jones, as Scott and the caretaker. The entire production was under the direction of myself, and I invite you to return to our Enigma Radio Theater for another adventure in the macabre. Until next time, Pleasant dreams?